Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. I quickly wanted to follow up on USB pass-through. So we have with Inogeni a, a nice solution to basically turn any modern video endpoint into a USB pass-through device. So you can take uh, the video endpoint, connect the Inogeni adapter, and then you have a USB pass-through enabled device. The challenge I had was so I have this Inogeni adapter, which is usually close to where the codec is, but my laptop here on the left hand side is usually standing on a table where the, I have a certain cable length, which I have challenges getting that USB signal to my laptop on the desk and getting the HDMI signal back in the codec. Both cables on its own are not that much of a challenge, but how do you do it if you would like to have one single cable only? So I looked around, tried to find a solution, and I found something like this um, Logitech switch here. So it is a USB-C connector and a USB connector. It provides the microphone and camera into the into the connector and at the same time it allows you to send your screen onto the video endpoint. So let's have a look at it um, in real life. So I have my dual screen video endpoint here. On the top left you'll see a little cell view of me. Um, at the bottom right there is the touch 10 with uh, various configuration options and at the bottom left is my laptop which I would like to use to join um, a Microsoft Teams conference and I would like to now go ahead and basically uh, use this laptop for this Microsoft Teams conference. So I'll take this cable here and go ahead and plug it into my laptop. There we go. Um, it immediately starts to pop up on the dual screen endpoint. It will use both screens when I don't do anything and it will uh, share the screen immediately. So that's good. Then I'll close the screen. I go and find the enable USB mode, which uh, I then go ahead and press. You'll see immediately on the right hand side of the screen, the self view pops up. This self view is basically used um, for the user's webcam and there's a message coming up as well saying that I can use the microphones and the cameras as normal and I need to make sure that I you choose the right devices on my laptop. So let's see, let's join this meeting, press join here. I very early on go to the full screen mode. So first of all, it's easy for you to see. And second of all, it will then like focus on the actual video conference. I <clears throat> go and have a look at the setup. So I'll see here on the right hand side as an audio, it still uses my internal mic and mic and speakers and the other speakers and microphone shown here and the camera, it is the FaceTime HD camera. So for the speaker, I'll choose my Logi switch audio. So I'll send the audio to this Logi device and then forward to the video endpoint and as a microphone I'll choose the Inogeni 4K device so it's using the microphones coming from the video endpoint. As a camera I go ahead and choose as well the Inogeni camera and you'll see immediately that it will change the uh, camera, the preview in the Microsoft Teams application to the camera of the video endpoint. That's it. I just go ahead and say join now <clears throat> and I'm in the meeting with my friend Baby Yoda and I have my self view down here. So that's how I use a video endpoint for a Microsoft Teams meeting. I'll go ahead and leave this meeting or end the meeting even because I have more I would like to test it with of course. Also with the next platform, I'll go ahead and uh, take the 
USB cable, plug it into my laptop here. I just start over again to make sure that you see that it's uh, nothing fake, that it's all going to uh, begin or <clears throat> To make sure that it is all working from the start with all the various uh, meeting applications. So again, I change to USB pass-through mode here. I'll get the message so I can use the um, device as usual. And I have to make sure that I choose the right microphone and camera in the application itself. That's what I'm doing now. I go and open the settings. Um, as video, I'll choose not my FaceTime camera but the Inogany device. As audio, I'll go ahead <coughs> and choose the Logi switch speakers. And as a microphone, I'll choose the Inogany device as well. So you see, it is working when I talk, it starts to get green and so on. So that's all fine. We are ready to join that meeting. Okay, there we go. So let's say start, go into full screen mode right away and <clears throat> I'll, I'm in the meeting with my friend Baby Yoda. That's done. Um, I'll end the meeting here and also you'll notice when I when you unplug this cable from your laptop that the USB pass-through mode will immediately, immediately be disabled because you don't have anything shown on the screen anymore. So there's no HDMI input connect detected, so um, it will go back to where it was before. Let's do the same thing for the next platform, so Google Meet. Um, again, I'll uh, take the cable connect it into the uh, laptop and I'll see the content of my screen coming up. I turn on USB pass-through mode on the endpoint. I'll see the message coming up. I'll uh, get the selfie of myself in the second screen. Then I'll go ahead and would like to join this Google USB pass-through meeting. Um, I'll realize that uh, the camera is not what I would uh, like it to be. So I'll go and uh, go to the... Uh... Okay, <laughs> so I had to try a few times in order to um, make it work. So let's see, I can now go ahead and say join meeting and again I'm in a meeting with Baby Yoda. Let's see if I'm going full screen. There we go. Full screen meeting as well. So um, previously I didn't manage to make this work. I, I couldn't select the, the camera. I looked up the data sheet of this Logi switch and I realized it, it's not uh, a supported meeting platform, uh, Google Meet, so therefore I was not surprised anymore that it doesn't work. But it seems to work sometimes at least uh, that's a, a good a good start but in general i think google meet may not work as easily okay so then i'll disconnect from this meeting as well i end it for everyone and i'll close this one okay so let's do the same thing with the webex application so again i'll take the uh, usb C cable connected into my laptop. Immediately the content is shared on both screens. I'll close this one um, and automatically it is choosing the Inogeny device as a USB camera. Uh, I'll go ahead and enable USB mode so we don't have that uh, interesting effect anymore. So dismiss, I get a normal message as I always get and um, I'll go also into uh, full screen mode here and I see here the, the preview of um, how I look like. I can choose the 
audio device, computer audio, which is in this case the microphone, the Inugeni microphone, and it is as a speaker to logi switch device. So I'll go ahead and start the meeting. Or it, it, I actually already started it um, because there is with my own account the, my friend Baby Yoda already in the call and I'm all set. I have now the proper view of the application on the screen here. I can actually change the layout here slightly, go into full screen view and maybe have a stack so myself is not going to be visible that well anymore. Okay, so um, good, that was it with the WebEx application. I say like, okay, end the meeting for everyone. I'll do that here. What we've done so far is we always connected this USB-C cable into the laptop. I tested this with my Mac. I had to install a driver on my Mac to make this work. So that's the Display Link Manager. Um, on the Windows laptop, I have a Swell available here to test. I made it work without installing an additional driver. Then I also tried it with my iPad, which has a USB-C connection as well. So something is happening. So this light is actually turning on here on the device but uh, it's not it's not sharing anything so it doesn't recognize this uh, logi switch as a device i can share to so that's uh, one thing which does not work as smooth as i would have liked it to be and then something um, i i wanted to share as well something positive i saw i see with this logi switch device so it doesn't allow only to have uh, a cable length in between the extender and the base station of like five meters so there's a five meter usb cable coming with it it also offers like 10 meters and 25 meters so in between the base station which is close to the codec and the table where the um, extension this ex extend where the extender is located they can be up to 25 meters, which is rather convenient. Another side effect I wanted to mention is in case you have a local PC in the meeting room, you can connect that PC or Apple TV, which uh, I have, I'm showing now. Um, uh, you can connect your Apple TV also to this Logi switch base station. It will then display whatever is coming from that TV and as soon as you plug in the cable the uh, input is actually switched from the content of the tv to the content of the laptop you have locally so that's quite a, a neat and interesting feature but luckily uh, apple airplay for example in this example uh, will soon be on our endpoints as well so very exciting um, so the case with the Apple TV may not be as uh, useful anymore, but nevertheless, uh, it would be. It is a, a nice add-on and a nice additional feature. So thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped. But um, just to be clear, this was just one example of getting an extension from the Inogeni adapter to your laptop to your table. So. There are other solutions out there which may be more suitable for your use case. Lightware will be one of them or there's many other manufacturers there as well. So this is not a supported solution, it's just like one example I found has its advantages. Yes, you need to install a driver on your MacBooks. Um, no, it does not work with iPads, at least I didn't make it work. And um, yes, another cool thing, it is it provides power to your laptop so you don't have to uh, like charge it extra so that's all good and bad things but keep in mind it's just one example out of many options out there which i just found useful
Thank you very much for watching. Again, let me know if you have questions. I hope it was useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.